Speak and then, your truth. Obviously, I mentioned that I slept with hundreds of people, right? Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, dude. Uh, <laughs> hundreds of people? That's gross. And the fact that it's very ambiguous too, to sit there and go off, I've had sex with hundreds? Question mark? Like, what do you mean hundreds? Like, obviously less than a thousand, but like, how many hundreds, by the way? Is it, obviously it's, it's more than a hundred because hundreds, so at minimum it's 200. So 200 people, minimum. But that might actually be more given the fact that you don't know. There's a question mark there. Can people stop gaslighting fat people? Like, I, a couple years ago, I got, what, 10,000 comments a day of people saying this shit, and guess what? I almost unalived myself three separate times because of it. I don't think anybody should do that, obviously. I think that goes without saying, but this kind of just screams to me that Marissa just shouldn't be on the internet, if that's the case, man. If you can't handle, well, I don't know what kind of criticism it, it, it was. It probably was very overwhelming for her. Like, anybody would experience some crazy-ass feelings of emotions if you were a nobody one day and then suddenly the next day you had probably thousands and thousands and thousands of people telling you every single day that you're you know are probably a very large amount of derogatory things right luckily for somebody like me i went through the call of duty era so it's like i'm pretty much i wouldn't say i'm immune to it you have to say something pretty drastic for me to even realize it was a disrespectful comment like i can always recognize when somebody's trying to be disrespectful but i always just kind of go is that it like, that's all you got man you got to be very very clever because i've heard everything you know um at this point i know that my mom is uh you know like it, it, from the call of duty days my mom was sucking off everybody um your mom was probably sucking off everybody but to be honest my mom's a virgin so i don't know what the fuck your mom was doing but my mom is a virgin a clean uh, bill of sale she is a wholesome woman okay and nobody can take that from me all right dude you can't say otherwise how dare you but when i hear marissa talk it's like the level of entitlement this woman has is is through the roof i feel like if you went up to marissa you would probably be physically repelled by the amount of entitlement that's radiated off her body every single day the this woman sitting there going we should stop gaslighting fat people. Marissa, first of all, if you're on the internet, it's pretty obvious that if, if that's what you want to do, which is fine, you can be on the internet, you cannot expect people to not make make videos about you or respond to you if you're making these videos to say whatever you want to say, okay? So, like, you do understand that. Can we just point that out? Like, if you put something on the internet and then you're upset that somebody says something opposite of what you said, you do realize that that's okay, right? Because you were the first person that initiated the conversation to begin with. Like, you put your voice publicly out and you said something. Of course, why would you expect nobody to say anything back? That's craziness. And this is why I say, like, she's very entitled. She thinks that everybody else should just be doing it for her. When in reality, nobody even knows you. Like, why would anybody... Why would you feel okay with doing something, but other people cannot do that same thing? <coughs> gaslighting us into thinking that our experience doesn't exist or isn't important it's fine that you have experiences or whatever but oftentimes when i hear people say our experiences or my personal experience it's it's always so cringy because it's like i'm not trying to say that you don't have experiences but what, when you say like experiences as a fat person what is that like not being able to walk upstairs like not being able to fit on toilets properly dude most of the issues that you guys deal with on a day-to-day -day basis being a fat person can literally just be alleviated through the simple calories in, calories out, calorie deficit, um, and diet and exercise. That's it. That's it. That's it. And the fact that you always complain about the same thing over and over again, it's cringe. It's cringe. Is harmful to our lives. Dude, you're posting about it on the internet, okay? First of all. The weight on your body is harmful to you and your lives, okay? That's, that's, dude, can we just say that? Just like leave it right there. Your weight is going to be a problem in and of itself. Now, I'm not saying that the harassment online is also not going to be a detriment to your health. I'm sure it is. But you also have to understand, I'm not condoning it, by the way. I don't condone harassment in any way. But you also have to understand that you are on the internet posting publicly videos and your comments are on, or at the very minimum, you're okay with people watching publicly viewed content. Why would you expect anybody to watch that shit? and not say anything back, that's crazy. You are posting them on the internet. You are making it for everyone. Why would anybody consume that? Do you expect everybody to watch your shit and go, oh yeah, that makes sense, that totally makes sense. That's ridiculous. Nobody's doing that, Marissa. You are asking something unrealistic and you're putting none of the responsibility on yourself. If you don't like the heat, 
Get out the kitchen. Why are you even bother post stuff on the internet if you don't like when people say things back to you? Because it makes us not want to be here anymore. I mean, that goes for anyone. Denying anyone that their experience existed or is valid is harmful. It's fine, but like, I'm not saying that you don't have these experiences. I'm sure that Marissa has many experiences that are... Sure, very derogatory, very bad, whatever. But the thing is, like, if you are posting on the internet and you're, you're you're offended when somebody says, this doesn't make sense, I don't really like that, uh, I disagree with you, and you reply with, well, this is actually going to make me not feel the best or like you should not do that, Marissa, you're doing the very thing that you're telling these people not to do. You do understand that, right? But especially for fat people, because we live in a fat phobic society that already hates us. And then you do this on top of it. It's too easy for these people to just sit there and go, I'm oppressed. It's society. It's your fault that I'm oppressed. You need to do something about it. I'm just going to sit in my bed all day with greased up hair. And I'm also going to make sure that everybody knows that I'm super oppressed while posting on the internet, telling people how oppressed I am. And then being more oppressed because you guys are commenting on my oppression by telling me I'm not oppressed and you're denying my personal experiences. How dare you? Even even though you're doing what I'm doing and it's completely fine for me to do it, it's not fine for you guys to do it. Get off of me, okay? First and foremost, I'm fat. I'm oppressed. You're not. Oh, you are fat? Too bad. I don't care. I'm more oppressed because I'm more fat. Most days, I don't want to be alive because I'm mentally ill. Then why are you on the internet, okay? Like, this, that's not a... Damn, dude. I'm sorry to say this, dude. That is not a sane person thing to say. And we all go through stints of un unwellness when it comes to mental health, right? I know I took a big hit to my mental health when my kitty cat died. And I was like down in the dumps for like a few weeks, man. It was upsetting to me that my cat died. But here's the thing, right? That is okay. It's okay to have those like down moments in your life where you go through something and it's very, very hard for you. But hopefully, being a well-rounded human being and having experiences and having the aptitude to progress through life is that you hit those down periods and then you bounce back. You understand? Like, it's like um, the boom and bust cycle here in capitalist countries, right? Here in America, I like to think that the boom and bust cycles, you know, like every 50 odd years, we have that like really bad portion where we hit a recession and then we bounce back. It's always better, right? I like to think that's a feature. In the same way that I think it's a feature to be a human being and have really bad things happen to you and then you have the ability to bounce back. Now, sure, there are people out there that will never be able to bounce back and that's very terrible and that's very ter that's very bad i agree but those people should not be on the internet uh, it's just like this place the internet is going to expedite that stuff it is the it is the literal uh, uh the entire embodiment of that particular aspect of society you are going to experience all of the badness and all of the greatness amplified exponentially on the internet so if you're dealing with terribleness it's going to be even more terrible because you're having social you're, you're you're having problems with your with your mental health and things such and so forth and because you're on the internet it's going to be like amplified to a different degree you should not be on the internet marissa it's not a good place for you i can tell you just don't have the ability to, uh, to handle it and that's okay like some people for instance are not credit card peoples some people think that credit card money is their actual money those people shouldn't have credit cards you are taking pe what people are saying online very seriously and it's affecting your mental health in such a degree that it could literally affect your physical health. That means you shouldn't be on the internet. You should never be on the internet, Marissa. Take yourself, remove yourself because you, okay, um, you, you are the only one that can ultimately do that. It's not up to me. It's not up to, you know, Mary or Joseph or whoever else or Joe Biden. It's not up to any of us. It's up to you. You have to be the one that ultimately decides that. And then this on top of it doesn't fucking help. Every single day, I have to try to be here. And it's unfortunate, but comments like this do not fucking help. Yeah, but you... This is like the equivalent of a guy breaking into a zoo, okay? This is like a guy break, breaking... I've seen these videos before, by the way. Like, Indonesian dudes that want to, like, oh, I'm not paying the, the $14 to get into the zoo. So they, like sneak over the wall to get into the zoo and they fall into like a tiger exhibit and then the tiger is like looking at them like yo check it out dude breakfast came early today and then you're going this is ridiculous like you shouldn't be eating me this is never this is never appropriate you're making me feel so bad it's a tiger first of all okay i'm not saying that people shouldn't be nice people should be nice as much as they possibly can obviously right but you're not entitled to that you're not entitled to that especially knowing that it's a fucking tiger exhibit the internet is a tiger and you are presenting your belly 
for the internet to consume. And then you, when they consume your stomach, you're going, this isn't right. This is bad. How dare you offend me? Marissa, you're a grown woman. If you can't handle the heat, get out the kitchen. You complaining about this so consistently and doing nothing about it is insane to me. Get off the internet. You're not, you're, you're not grown enough for it. That's it. That's all it is. Grow up, Marissa. If you can't handle it, get out. Anything like this do not fucking help anything so whatever instant gratification you are getting from harming me i think that okay first of all harming is a crazy ass thing to say here that is a crazy ass thing to say here dude first of all marissa if you've been doing this for this prolonged period of time and you've done nothing about it i have to i have to assume that it has something to do with like attention seeking because this is not proper behavior especially given the fact that you've literally said this is negatively affecting you physically speaking so are you just like i don't want to i don't want i just I, this is a question i have giving all the context do you actually feel this way or is it like attention seeking because like dude you cannot be on the internet for this long and deal with this shit for this long and not see that you're the problem and then also deem it to be everyone else's fault. Are you are you seeking attention? Because this is like, it's okay if you are. Just say that. I'm not going to be the bigger person and say, I don't want to wish this on my worst enemies. No, you have to be the bigger person in removing yourself from the internet. That's not my logic. I don't think that. I can't say anything else, but you get what I'm saying. Just leave fucking fat people alone. Why are you? Okay. Oh my God. Oh, it's so unbearable. This person takes no responsibility for themselves. Marissa is the epitome, the personification of people that do not take responsibility, dude. It is actually insane the amount of non-responsibility that Marissa has. Can you imagine posting videos on a public platform and then being upset that people view your videos? Can you fucking believe that shit? Can you fucking believe that? Can you imagine saying some things that are so blasphemous, so haram, that the very idea of those statements in and of themselves make zero sense, and then blaming the people that go, hey, this doesn't make any sense. And then you go, this is making me feel so bad. How dare you leave fat people alone? Why are you here then? Why are you out here advertising yourself in such a public way if you don't want to be recognized? What are you doing? Why are you even making videos then if that's the case? How can you even make this claim? Oh my God. Marissa just real deal just get my fucking blood pressure through the roof right now, oh my God. Oh my God. Stop telling us the trauma that we experience from fat phobia isn't real. Oh. Because guess what? You're just continuing to do it because of your own fat phobia. Oh. Go unlearn it instead of harming an entire group of fucking people. How about you unlearn this fucking entitlement that you have, man? How about you actually re look in the mirror when you say this? Can you please hold up? Real real deal. Take take your phone out. Put your phone up to your screen and go say those words to yourself, okay? Then rewatch the video back. Can you not recognize that you are the reason why this is happening to begin with? Now, I'm not saying that the people that are commenting hateful, disgusting things are not doing it themselves. But you do understand that you are putting yourself in a position to have those things be realized, right? Like, you are, you are step one for all this thing to happen. You understand? I'm not victim blaming here. Well, kind of I am. But you have to also understand that if you don't like this shit and you can't handle this and this is making you feel bad, you have to understand that ultimately it needs to be you, you, you as the individual to remove yourself from these situations, right? Just don't put your foot into the, the deep end of the pool if you don't want to be in the deep end of the pool. Why are you here if you're, if you're so upset about it? Yep. You can't cede all your responsibility on other people and be upset by that. You know, if you're sitting there going, stop saying these bad things about fat people, why the fuck are you making the content then about these particular fat people? It doesn't make any sense. You can't do that shit. That doesn't make any sense. And Okay, whatever. Whatever. Bobe doesn't kill. Yeah, it fucking does. A group of fucking people. That Bobe doesn't kill. Yeah, it fucking does. And Fatness kills. And then maybe the consequences of you realizing that... Man, dude, I, I'm sorry, dude. This person is just too unbelievable. It's like anytime I try to <sighs> rebuttal a point, I always think I can't even believe that I have to say these words because I would think that they're so obvious to say. Like, I feel like a, I would think like a 12 year old would even understand this. Right. But for some reason, I don't know where Marissa grew up or what her like background is. She seems like she's in a, a adult body. Right. She's got to be at least 30. How did you make it to 30? 
and you don't have any of this knowledge? How did this happen? How do you have zero life experience at all where it comes to taking responsibility and entitlement? You're acting like you're fucking, what's her name from? Eugenia George from uh, uh, Mean Girls, except worse, because at least in those scenarios, she came to the understanding that she was wrong by the end of the movie. You just can't seem to do that. You just like go on for years and years and years saying the same shit and never taking responsibility for yourself. I cannot believe it. Like, how did you make it this far with the same type of information, dude? You would think that you would have learned something by now. He does, and this is a great example of it in the works. Like, just fucking stop it, people. See, this is a problem. But you are also offending skinny people. How do you ex expect to receive love when you only give hate? Period, sis! Period, dude! That's exactly true. Marissa is the epitome of, of, of... What's the word I'm looking for here, dude? Projection. The amount of projection this person emanates is insane. Always, 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 always saying the most disgusting. Even when somebody gives her a compliment, she still takes it the wrong way and goes, I don't need you. First of all, it's so crazy. I remember watching that video and she says some shit like, oh, somebody said that I was a pretty queen or something like that. First of all, I know that. You don't need to tell me that. And then I'm just thinking like, Jesus, Marissa, like way to alienate anybody that watches you. That is a, such a crazy ass thing. The giving, given the fact that you're literally saying that negative comments hurt you so deeply that you're literally willing to take the ultimate tech, the, 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 the ultimate method of taking yourself out, right? That is something you're going to say, but even a compliment you can't even take. So it's like, why would anybody even watch this person willingly? Like, it's, it's obvious this person, no matter what you say to them, is going to be never enough. Well, because I'm not offending skinny people. First of all, that's, I think we leave it up to the skinny people, man. What's happening here is skinny people are offended by fat people. Yeah, that's exactly. <sighs> Damn, dude, that's tough. Man, I'm sorry, dude. Um, Marissa, do you not know that 2 plus 2 equals 4? What the fuck did you just say? Did you just not, did you just say... Did you just say something so unbelievable? I'm sorry, dude. Uh, <laughs> you are offending skinny people. And then this person says, I'm not doing it. Fat people are doing it. But you're a fat people, right? So that means that you're doing it. Okay. All right, Marissa. I mean, sure. Uh, maybe she couldn't see that. Man, dude. Marissa, real deal. Just be saying the dumbest shit sometimes, man. Skinny people are offended when fat people stand up for themselves against their bullying. First of all, fat people ain't standing up in general. Let's keep that a buck. Fat people sitting down. That's what they're going to say, okay? They're sitting down when they say that. Skinny people are offended when fat people stand What's up this? for themselves why, against why their you bullying. Clutching your pearls? Skinny people are offended because fat people know their worth. <laughs> Marissa, you literally just made the entire video right before this one about how you are so offended that somebody said something to you that was mild. And now you're talking about some like, no, we know our worth. What are you talking about, man? Can, how could you have it both ways? How can you be oppressed in both ways, Marissa? Pick one. Skinny people are offended because fat people are advocating for their own human rights and they're and to be treated like a human being. What human rights are you missing as a fat person? Like like what like what are you missing because like the only time i ever hear these people actually complain about things that are legitimate is usually in employment which is like oh i can't be employed in certain positions because they think i can't do the job most of the time they're justified in those positions because i don't want to hire somebody that literally cannot do the job because you're out of shape you don't have the literal facilities in order to stand up for a long period of time or even work for a long period of time because i'm literally uh, this is anecdotal but i've met a lot of fat people that literally complain all the time about how they struggle to stand up and they have lack of energy and they're always tired and they always have problems like you know getting out of a seated position things such and so forth so like yeah i can see why these are big problems like i've met literal 75 year olds that are more in shape than most 20 year olds i couldn't even imagine what it'd be like for somebody that's sedentary that's sedentary and just you know doesn't do shit all day skinny people are offended because they're the ones being called out on their own oppressive behaviors who is calling us out first of all what of our what are our what, what are the oppressive behaviors in, in fucking building stairs like what are the oppressive behaviors i'm sorry you can't get this job you're 500 pounds uh, what are the oppressive behaviors like oh i'm sorry i'm a doctor and i have to tell you that your obesity is actually a problem what are the oppressive behaviors bro what are they because they can't be jokes okay if somebody was like damn she's so big Fat girls, fat girls got the big cheeks. Nobody is that you can't joke anymore about things. Like, what is it? What do you mean by oppression? It's too ambiguous. Please specify. 
So no, me advocating for fat people and wanting to be treated like a human and not to be bullied and shit. But you are treated like a you are treated like a human being. Nobody, nobody, dude. First of all, you are not entitled to not receive hate on the internet because you said something stupid. If you said something stupid, naturally people are gonna say something to you regardless of whether or not you're fat. The fatness has absolutely nothing to do with it. You said something blasphemous. You said something that would make no sense. Naturally people are gonna come at you because you said something crazy. It has nothing to do with your being fat. Why do you think that because you're fat, somehow that means that you're not supposed to have any type of like repercussion for the words that you say. Dude, don't you think that's unbelievable? Don't you think that's crazy to sit there and think that you're entitled to all those, oh no, you can't talk to me, you can't say anything back to me because I'm fat? That's ridiculous, Marissa. That's not offensive. The reason why skinny people are offended is because they're the ones doing the oppressive behavior. Skinny people are offended because they're being held accountable, because they're being called out. She, she says this shit in such an entitled way, too. Like, skinny people are being called out. That's right. Mm-hmm. And you best believe it. We are advocating for ourselves. So entitled. Like, every time she, like, I'm not here to tone police, but there's a certain way you talk to somebody, okay? And the way that Marissa talks to people is just, like, I don't understand why she thinks this is an appropriate way of doing it. Looking down, talking like you're better than people or talking like you know more than somebody, even though obviously you don't know anything more than somebody. It seems like you know less than most people, to be honest. Because given from the, the lack, the lack of real world experience, the lack of responsibility and the inability to actually do a little bit of research is insane. So no, Marissa. No, I refuse to be talked to like this. I don't know why you feel like this is one of the reasons why I feel like people don't want to watch her anymore, dude, because her the way she talks, the way that she says things, dude, it's one thing if you want to say things that are incorrect. Fine. I'm sure people can stay around for that. But talking down upon people in this very entitled way, dude, it's never going to work. It's so bad. So advocating for fat people, that's that's love, buddy. That's not showing hate at all. But like this person could be a fan and just be misunderstood, right? This person could just really, you know what I'm talking about? Like this person could actually be coming at this from a very you know, uh, uh, nuanced perspective, maybe actually trying to understand. And this person is just like hating on them, talking shit. And if you think so, then look inward. I need to rant for a second because I just do not... I just do not comprehend this mentality still. I just do not comprehend how people walk around in this life. That's, yeah, that just ended there. Just end it, just end it there. Can't comprehend how you walk around, how you use your legs like that. How do you, you walked how much? Five, five fucking miles that day? That's crazy. How'd you do that? I do not comprehend how people walk around in this life just thinking that all fat people should hate themselves nobody's thinking that dude you're fucking you know what there probably are some people out there that do think that but i feel like you're going to the very very like this is a very extreme bracket of people that think that okay most people are looking at fat people and going that probably sucks that probably really that's probably really bad environment to live in i can't even imagine walking around at this particular body fat percentage and having no issue with that that's most people that's most people most people are not looking at you marissa and going i think you should hate yourself for being so fat nobody's doing that I just don't get that. I just do not get how you can, mind you, I'm a very depressed individual. I, uh, I you know, Marissa just putting her, <laughs> it's so, like, it's so fucking just putting your mental illness on display. It just, there are places and, and times in which you can say these things and none of those things are ever going to be on the internet unless you're talking to your therapist over like a Zoom call or something like that. I, I, I don't know why Marissa, and so much of these, so many of these people, have no filter when it comes to the online realm like they are can you imagine this think about this for a second can you imagine posting videos in a blasphemous way saying things that are obviously that make no sense getting hate for those things telling people that you feel bad for that stuff and then blaming those people for that stuff even though you were the reason why the the, the statements that were said were said and then going uh, you know, like, uh, you shouldn't be saying this stuff online and then doubling down and then re-saying terrible things online. Like, why are you doing this, Marissa? Like, you you just, are you real deal never going to learn from your mistakes? You know, like, I get it. You have mental illnesses. Why is the internet the place you vent? I am a very mentally ill individual. All right. <laughs> but I don't go around spewing my own issues with myself and my life onto other people in a way that it's like, 
why I hate my life, so everyone else should hate their life too. I'm sorry, Marissa. You literally just said you have severe mental health, and then you said that you're not a person that does that. Every video you do is all projection. Every one of them. It's always, I know I did this, and you're doing it too. Stop doing it. You don't, you, you should not be able to do this, but I should because I'm fat. You are the epitome of what you fight against. If this, if you were Obi-Wan Kenobi, okay, this was, yeah, you McGregor, you have become the very thing you swore to destroy. You are the definition of what you fight against. You are your own worst enemy. You do understand that? No, you don't, obviously. And you'll never be able to see it that way either. And it's really sad to say that because there's only so much... If you're friends with people like this, I recommend to never be friends with them because like if you if you're friends with somebody and they can never see them themselves being wrong, I don't want to be friends with you because you should have the ability to know that you're wrong. A person that doesn't change from year to year to year to year and it's the same person and has no change at all is not a good thing. I'm sick of people going like, I'm never going to change. I'm never going to change. I am who I am. No, you should want to change. You should have the willingness to be able to change because ultimately if you don't, you're always going to be stuck in the same way. And it seems that Marissa has been 14 years old for her whole life. No, this woman's like 32 or something like that. And she's acting like a child. In a way that it's like, well, I hate my life. So everyone else should hate their life too. It's like, crazy. I just don't get, I just don't get how people can walk around actively and positively being like, yeah, fat people should hate themselves. Nobody's fat people that. should not like themselves ever. And that the only time you can like yourself is if you're thin. I just do not understand how you can live a fulfilling, satisfying life thinking like that. I don't understand how a fat person could be very overweight and or obese and live a very happy or fulfilling life acknowledging that they're fat and have no, no problem with those illnesses. And then also, I can't imagine somebody that is as condescending as ill-informed as irresponsible and also can take no responsibility for themselves on the internet while posting videos of themselves claiming to be the victim and only oppressing other people i can't understand that i can't understand that marissa like, I... you will never see me you will never see me victimizing myself never i mean you know unless i actually am victimized like if i told you like guys last night i was walking down the street and a BBC Wrangler came out of nowhere and he just kind of took his BBC and fucking threw it at my neck and, like, and I choked on it and I flew back and then then he just started dipping his nutsack in my mouth just like you know he was doing squats and as he was doing squats he was dipping his enlarged nutsack in my mouth and I couldn't close my mouth because the nutsack was so massive and delectable. I was victimized in that in that particular scenario sure but I'm never like I'm not I'm never gonna claim to be a victim in any in like most scenarios because it's like why should I I'm probably even though there are things about me and my life that I know that could be better and improved maybe things that I have no control over dude fuck it like it is what it is right like I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest to make my life better but seems like for for Marissa it's a constant spew. It's a constant Ouroboros of complaining, complaining, telling other people to stop complaining while they're complaining. I do not fucking understand that. I do not comprehend it. There's probably a lot of things Marissa doesn't comprehend, to be honest. And the more that I have healed myself and the more that I've worked on myself and the more that I've educated myself, oh, it still makes me so angry. But and that just kind of goes to tell you, that just kind of goes to show you that Maybe the education that you, you've, you've induced upon yourself and all that self-growth and all that other stuff was probably not optimal given the fact that nothing has improved. Don't, don't you understand that? Don't you understand that if you've worked on solving these issues and the issues have never gotten, never gotten better and only gotten worse, don't you, don't, don't, have you never connected the dots and maybe realized that that wasn't how you're supposed to fix it? Okay. I feel bad for those people. Yeah. Oh my God, do oh, I yeah. feel bad for those people. Yep. I'm not at the stage yet where I feel sorry for them and I give them nice and love and whatever. No, I don't know if I will ever be there because if you are actively spewing that hate... And this is a narcissistic person, right? This is most definitely a person that thinks very highly of themselves, that thinks that they're better than you, that thinks... I mean, the way that they speak, the way that they talk, it's very obvious that this person is super nar narcissistic and has a very large amount of problems. And I really hate it when people, oh man, look, I'm not here to sit, I'm not here to say that mental illness isn't a real thing. It is, I do, I do, I do agree with this, but I see people doing this thing where they go, 
they say something, right? They say something incredibly ridiculous. And then they go, somebody calls them out on that and goes, whoa, what you just said was crazy. This doesn't make any sense. And they call them out on that. And then they go, I have mental illness. You can't comment on this thing. And then you go, okay, fine. But then you keep doing that and you keep using that as an excuse. Eventually, people are going to stop listening because that shit's ridiculous. How many times can you claim that the mental illness is a problem before you actually do something about it? It just at that point, your your speech holds no value. If ultimately any time you're ever called out on what you're actually doing wrong is just rebuttaled with, well, I'm mentally ill or, well, I actually have this problem and you can't tell me otherwise. Eventually, people are going to look at that and go, this is ridiculous. This person has an unrealistic standard on how people should react around them. And it's not worth me being around you anymore. Into the world. Eh, I can understand where it's coming from. And I can understand that you must fucking hate yourself so much. that Projection you through the roof. I mean, this person is literally making videos about how depressed they are and how, how much mental illness they have. And they're telling you that you hate them. You hate yourself. Can you fucking believe that? Can you imagine going to the gym and working up like, oh, damn. Oh, damn, my bicep getting juiced up right now. Oh, it's thick. It's, I could feel it pumping. It just is getting juiced up. Oh, my God, it's kind of wet. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. Ah, oh, it's tight. It's tight. And Marissa goes, you must hate yourself. You must really hate yourself. Nah, I just think I'm feeling good. If you are actively spewing that hate into the world, eh. I can understand where it's coming from, and I can understand that you must fucking hate yourself so much that you want everyone else to hate themselves too. But at the same time, I will never be like, oh, bless you with love. Like, I'm never fucking going to do that, at least right now. Bless you with love? What even is that? What? It's like a really, really nice priest. About a couple weeks ago, I went and I decided, oh, let me just see what, what's on the apps, just see if they're different. So... I was trying a uh, Facebook. That's already a problem right there, dude. Who uses Facebook anymore? Uh, Facebook dating because, you know. That's interesting, Marissa. That's very interesting, Marissa. Facebook dating. I didn't even know that was a thing. Let me know how that is. People people in the comments section, let me know how Facebook dating is. Whatever the fuck. Oh, bad mistake. Um, so this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, this rant is stemmed from a dude who was so fucking fat phobic. And then. Just one guy, huh? Damn, dude, it really takes that much? Yeah. Damn. Rant is stemmed from a dude who was so fucking fat phobic. Speak and then, your truth. obviously, I mentioned that I've slept with hundreds of people, right? Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, dude. Uh, <laughs> hundreds of people? That's gross. That's not good. I don't care who you are, man or woman. It's not a good thing. That just, sh oh man, that, the mental illness, definitely, that's not a good thing, okay? Now, I'm not telling you who you can and cannot have sex with, go ahead, have sex with whoever you want, but it is most definitely a red flag if you meet somebody, I don't care how old they are, Marissa's probably in their 30s, and the fact that it's very ambiguous too, to sit there and go off, I've had sex with hundreds, question mark? Like, what do you mean hundreds? Like, obviously less than a thousand, but like, how many hundreds, by the way, is it? Obviously, it's, it's more than 100 because hundreds, so at minimum, it's 200. So 200 people, minimum. But that might actually be more given the fact that you don't know. There's a question mark there. This just kind of goes to show you, dude. Sometimes you don't even need to look good. You don't need to have any type of confidence. You could be a severely mentally ill person. And I guess you can just have sex with everybody, dude. I don't even hundreds of people, dude. That's insane. You know how many people I've had sex with? Four. Four people. All women, no men, by the way. I know there are going to be people going, how many of those do, how many of those were men, huh? How many of those were men? None. None of them were men, unless you're counting myself. In that case, I guess I am gay because I beat off and I got a hand on my meat every day. But the fact that Marissa is just represent, first of all, I don't even know why you're telling people. Are you listing this on your profile? Has had sex with hundreds of people? Why are you even approaching a situation like that where you're telling somebody straight out the gate, like, hey, just let you know. <laughs> I probably, it was hundreds of people. I don't even know how many at this point. It's so many people that I've lost count. That's crazy, Marissa. Hundreds? And then, obviously, I mentioned that I've slept with hundreds of people, obviously. right? And then he's like, oh, yeah, the only people that you've slept with are, like, fat and desperate. And it's like... That probably is fucking true. I don't even know how you rack up hundreds of people. They have to be desperate at bare minimum. That's crazy, dude. I remember... I remember I was talking to my friend, right? And he was like, 
um, so Dave, what's your body count? And at the time, I think it was like three. And I was like, oh, I think I've, I think I've had sex with like three people. Here's the thing, okay? Three people, four people, but I've had sex with each one of those people like a lot, right? Because I'm a monogamous person. So I stay with people for a long time and I have sex with them a lot. So anyway, right? Uh, and I was like, oh, I don't know, three people, three or four people. And he was like, oh, really? And I was like, yeah. He's like, I was like, how many you got? He's like, oh, yeah, I've probably had sex with 70, 70 women. And I was like, 70? Keep in mind. Okay, I'm not trying to say this guy is lower than me or anything like that. He is lower than me in the sense of his height. Okay, I'm like 5'10". He's like 5'2". Not joking. Okay, he's not Mexican either. But this dude had no... I don't think he, he his, his legs didn't grow properly. But he had sex with 70 women. And I was like, wow, that is actually incredible. 70? Really? And then I asked him, I was like, how, how are you doing that? And he said, I just meet women on these apps and we hook up. And I was like... Wow. And he's like, here, look, this is my last, this is the last one I had sex with. And I was like, damn, is she missing some teeth? Like, who is this woman? Where'd you find this girl? And he's like, oh yeah, I met her on Bumble. And I was like, really? And then he's scrolling through more women. I was like, oh, I see it now. I see it. These all, every single woman was like 400 pounds. They had like nine kids, no teeth and like <laughs> no job, no car, nothing. And I'm just like looking at these women. I'm like, I see it. You got no, you got no standards. You got no standards. You're having sex with people that are of low quality. And don't get me wrong. It's fine if that's what you want to do. It's fine. But oftentimes when I look upon these people that go, I've had sex with 70 or even more people, I'm thinking 10 of those people probably count as like one of my bodies, right? Because I mean, look, I don't feel like my standards are unusually low. I just wish that the person I'm with is like, you know, attractive enough for me, has their shit together, brushes their teeth washes themselves you know <laughs> i don't know right people that are got their shit together so i'm not going for these like very bottom of the barrel people because i'm not really desperate i don't require sex very very often to be honest when it comes to like people you know i'm not i'm not desperate i don't need to like find somebody to be with me like i'm happy within myself but a lot of people are not that way and when i hear people go i've had sex with hundreds of people i think there's an issue there why 100 people that is crazy 200 people 300 people why that's some real problems right there. That, that's some like deep down issues. It's like, one, no. Two, most of them desperate. And it's like, one, no. Two, most of the people I have fucked, guess what? Are not fat. Not that- Most guys are willing to have sex with you even if you don't look good, okay? I, like I've met plenty of men that have told me straight out that they, listen, I've so, I've real deal swung my dick in some conditioner before. I've done some crazy shit, hot sauce too, whatever, right? Dip my dick in milk just to get rid of the hot sauce sensation. I didn't know that it was gonna feel bad. Well, I did, it wasn't, I didn't dip my dick in hot sauce. I was eating hot chicken and then I was like, I'm about to fucking, I'm about to beat my shit. I don't know if it was a sensation of the sriracha or whatever, don't do that. Wash your hands right before. But I see these people a lot claiming like, Oh, I had sex with tons of really attractive people, therefore I must be a 10. Nah, that's not how that works, especially when it comes to men. Because men are willing to slide dick in watermelons, okay? Men are willing to slide dick in conditioners and apple pies and assorted fruits. You don't, your vagina is like 10 million times better than a fruit, maybe. It depends on the quality and quantity of vagina. I'm not going to lie to you. Some vaginas are not the best, but it's okay though. So when I hear people say this, and, and like Marissa saying this, like, oh no, I've had sex with very attractive people. I don't care. That doesn't mean anything. Literally doesn't mean anything. Sex is a lot different than locking somebody down. That's why when I hear somebody go, I've had sex with a lot of people, I don't really put a lot, a lot of value into that, given that it doesn't really require a lot to have sex with somebody compared to having an actual relationship. Like it takes a lot of deliberate work to have and maintain a relationship. So I always put more value on those things. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't be able to have sex with whoever you want. Go ahead, have sex with whoever, whatever you want. I just hope you understand what I'm saying when it comes to people that brag about body counts like this as if it's some kind of an award and it is really not. That again, not that that's anything wrong with that, but most of the people who I've slept with, if I'm gonna, if I wanted to tally it all up and categorize everyone by body size, I would say at least 70% of the people are not fat. I wonder if she got anything from that. Like what like what what kind of hole were you trying to fill where you had sex with hundreds of people? Did you get any STIs or STDs or anything like that? Because I couldn't imagine having sex with hundreds of individual people and not contracting something along those lines. And like I would love to understand why she even thought this was like a good idea to begin with. This just screams like really, really like big problems. I mean, obviously, I mean, she's literally bragging about the mental illness, so. 
or not larger or not plus size. This stuff just, oh my God, it's like nails on a chalkboard. I'm also going to keep it a buck with you. If you, no matter who you are, I feel like man or woman, you might have a little bit more leeway if you're a man and say this, because I guess women, women actually look a little bit more favorably at higher body counts. Not often though. I feel like it's probably not a good thing to say either way, but um, if you're somebody with a really high body count, it's not a, it's not, it's not a good thing for a lot of people. Like most people are not going to look at that and go like, for me personally, I don't put a lot of value on body count, right? Whatever. But I do once it becomes a problem. Like if I met you and let's say for instance, you were a 25 year old girl and you were like, oh, I've had sex with 10 people or 15 people. I'd be like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Whatever. Not a big deal. But if I met you and you were 25 and you had a hundred bodies, I'd be like, hundred is kind of crazy like that's an exorbitant amount of people why a hundred you know what i'm saying so it just depends like it becomes an issue once it becomes an issue and i can't tell you what the stop point is like where it starts to become an issue i just know that if i hear somebody that's like 25 or i remember i was talking to this one girl one time and she was 18 years old okay i don't know how old i was at the time probably like 22 and I thought I was going to get serious. And then she asked me what my body count was. I don't know what it was at the time, like one. And then I was like, oh, one. She's like, what? One? And I was like, yeah, one. And she was like, I've had sex with 89 people. And I was like, 89 people. 89. You're 18 years old. How many dudes was that in a year? And keep in mind, she didn't even count the women. Like, she wasn't counting women's sex, you know? So... It, it could possibly be in the hundreds. It could possibly be like 150, 200. I don't fucking know. But this person had so many bodies and they were 18 years old. And I remember I was just like, this, that's nasty. That's so gross. How many dudes per year is that? Like fucking 10, 15, 20 dudes a year? What do you, I don't know, man. It was like, it is a problem. It's not a problem until it is a problem. And I feel like even the, the most liberal person when it comes to body count is going to have an issue with that. And for somebody like Marissa to be openly bragging about it as if it's some kind of like achievement that she's had sex with hundreds of people as if that's ever going to be a good thing. It is not. This stuff just, oh my God, it's like nails on a chalkboard, grinds my gears, like holy fucking- Yeah, people having fucking standards and looking at somebody with over a hundred, my bad, over 200 bodies and going like, oh, that's kind of, ooh. Christ, I just- They have to be low quality people, man. What do you, like, I'm sure some of them were high quality people, but then again, like, why weren't you able to lock down any of them? Like, okay, maybe you weren't trying to have relationships. Man, I don't know, dude. It just, like, there's nothing I can say about this other than that's gross, Marissa. Ugh. I just don't get how people can walk around in this life with everything that's happening and everything that's going on. I just don't understand how you can be so focused on other people's bodies. Dude, what the fuck are you talking about? You told the guy that... You told the guy. What are you talking about? You said you obviously told him how many bodies you had. And fat people's bodies. Like... Oh my, the government already controls us in the, in our bodies. Like, just worry about your fucking self. And if you don't like fat people, that don't fucking match with them. Dude, what are, what, are, what are Marissa's beliefs, bro? I thought she was on the left. Did she not? So she's, she, what? what? The government controls your body in what way? Like, <laughs> maybe you have to have a job to contribute to society? I don't know. Maybe you have to live somewhere? Like, what do you mean? What does the government do? What, where does she live? Canada? Maybe it's a little bit more, I don't, man, whatever, bro. This, like. She's getting just some conspiracy theory shit now. Oh, just get rid of the ego, unlearn it, like. The, get rid of the ego? Okay, Marissa, okay. Yeah, coming from you, that really means a lot. You know that? Coming from you, it, oh, whoa. That actually means a lot coming from you, Marissa. I can't even believe that somebody like you could say that, but you know what? Oh, you're right, I should get rid of my ego. Come on, people. I only had sex with like a couple hundred people. Like, come on now. What are you fucking talking about? What do you mean they're low quality people? Nah, they were all very high quality people, obviously. It is so annoying to experience fat phobia every fucking day on the internet. Then why are you on the internet? You stay off the fucking internet, dude. I don't know what the fuck I tell you. Get off the internet, Marissa. You're not eligible to be a person on the internet. And especially not on dating markets, dude. You're literally bragging about having sex with hundreds of guys as if that's like a, a good thing. Oh my fucking God. It is so fucking annoying. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go make a tea. Cool. I just don't get it. Cool. And if you're one of these people that, oh my God.
that you just walk around fucking hating everyone and thinking that every fat person is miserable and projection. hates their life. Projection like crazy, Marissa. Projection like crazy right now. And should, and that being thin and losing weight and will fucking improve their life. No, the only. Marissa is on some different shit, dude. Oh, man, I can't even believe that shit. Literally, all your problems stem from being overweight, it seems like. And from those things, mental illness has sprung up. And you somehow... I mean, it's, you know, it's just the issue of, like... Marissa somehow cannot connect dots. Like, if there was, like, a puzzle and it said one, two, three, and you had to connect those dots, right? Marissa is incapable of doing that. It's... <laughs> She can't. It's like simple math is just like out of her head. She's never learned it somehow. And it is actually crazy to me that I can see people participating in society with the m amount of logic these people don't possess. And I always think it is an anomaly that you were able to exist in society and function to the degree that you are um, without any problems. That's actually crazy. Only person's life you have to worry about if you're thinking like that is your fucking own. That's really interesting, Marissa, that you say that, given the fact that you seem to have so much willingness to talk about everybody else's life. Man, Marilla, dude, Marissa is like one of the biggest hypocrites I've ever seen in my fucking life. It's actually crazy, and it's fully on display. Hello. <laughs> The fuck was that? You couldn't cut out that last like two seconds? That's so awkward. Life you have to worry about if you're thinking like that is your fucking own. <laughs> Hello there. So I'm going to take a minute to. So you're skinny. So you think that skinny people that have a hard time gaining weight being called names doesn't affect their mental health? Good question. Good question. Um, instead of like, you know, fuck you, you're wrong. Hey. I'm going to take this minute to try and educate you and to explain. In my own words, the difference between fat shaving and skinny shaving Please and how- give us the definitions. Please go through this, Marissa. You are obviously the person that we need to go to for this. How they are not the same. But a lot of people think that they are the same and- They're not the same, obviously. By, by fucking obviously, if you're looking at them, they cannot be the same. But there's a lot of similarities. I think that there might be a misunderstanding or a misrepresentation of what people actually think fat shaming is. So skinny shaming is obviously like, ew, you're skinny, or like, skin and bones, or like, comments about your skinny body that are- Ew, you're skinny. Yeah, that's exactly what it is, dude. I remember I used to get skinny shamed a lot. I remember being in school and kids used to be like, yo, David, how much can you bench? And I'd be like, I don't even know what that is. Like, what do you mean bench? Like, I don't know, five pounds. Because I didn't know what benching was. But I remember lifting five pound dumbbells. So I was like, I don't know, five pounds. And they were like, ha ha. David is skinny. David is skinny. Ha ha. He's white. I don't know. People made fun of you because you were white. I went to a predominantly black school. So, I mean, I could probably give you some examples of being skinny shamed, but ultimately it is what it is. Like, dude, I mean, yeah, I was skinny shamed, but like, dude, it's okay. I'm better now. I'm, I'm healthier and things like that. I'm not saying it's warranted. It's not warranted, but it is what it is. Are degrading and are wrong and hurtful, right? I'm not denying that, that that's bullying. It is bullying. However, Fat shaming is not the same thing as that because fat shaming is not just calling someone fat. It's not just making fun of a fat person. Other examples of fat shaming are when the doctor tells you to lose weight as your medical. Dude, it's it's not fat shaming, first of all. You can say, oh my God, dude. You can say, oh, oh. You can say that it's fat phobia, but you can't say it's fat shaming. If a doctor is in the doctor's office and telling you, hey, dude, you're fat and that's a bad thing. You're literally suffering medical complications because of this. And you consider that to be fat shaming. You're dumb. That is some dumb statement. That is literally impossible for normal people to comprehend. That doesn't make sense. The, the by, by very definition of shaming, why the fuck do you think a doctor would be shaming you, first of all? That's crazy. That dude is literally employed to make you better. And somehow you think that he's shaming you. Okay, that's most definitely never going to happen. So you got that. And then you 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 saying that the doctor trying to help you is shaming. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Marissa's on some different shit. Marissa's literally gone. Like, she's out to lunch. She is far gone. Other examples of fat shaming are when the doctor tells you to lose weight as your medical advice when you go in for, like, an ear infection or an eye infection. Yeah, because he's going to address the problems that you have. You do okay, whatever, Marissa. Go ahead. When you've continuously um, rolled your ankle for fifteen times over the years. I wonder why you rolled your ankle fifteen times over the years. I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact that you're overweight and you're carrying around double or even triple the amount of weight that you're supposed to be carrying around. I'm sure that has nothing to do with 
your ankle, right? It's not like walking on stilts and you have like a little, a little bitty joint at the very bottom of your body. And that little bitty joint is going to be impacted by the sheer magnitude of your body. No, nope, pretty sure that has nothing to do with that. Sure. And you go in and say, my ankle hurts. And then all they have to say is, oh, you need to lose weight. True. That is an example of fat shaming. It's not fat shaming. That's crazy. You can't even come up. Man, dude, it's not, it's like, she's not even trying either, dude. She's real deal. Not even trying, man. Why don't she like, Go, go watch some other fat activists. They have actual other things to say. You don't even know what you're talking about. It's so obvious, too. Another example of fat shaming is when you go into a store and then they don't have your clothing size. That it's you not shaming, dude. Oh, my God, Marissa. Do you even know what words are? What do you mean, shaming? Dude, first of all, if an establishment doesn't have your clothing, how is that shaming? It's an establishment. What the hell are you talking about? Okay. You want to wear or that you want to buy and then you go and you complain and then they say oh just buy it online that is the level of fat shaming dude uh, this woman is on uh, no dude no dude no 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 how the fuck is somebody at like a cash register going like oh yeah we don't have it in store it's probably online and you go this is shaming Okay, this is why I think Marissa has absolutely no idea how the real world works. She's like using examples that blatantly don't even make sense for her, the idea that she's even espousing from her mouth. Okay, Marissa, whatever, bro. You're obviously oppressed to a different degree. And you know what? It's you. You're oppressing yourself. You can't even understand that. You are the person oppressing yourself the most and you somehow can't understand that. That saying that, well, if you want to buy your clothes in the store, then you need to be thinner. Or, well, you're fat, so you have to pay the consequence of going out of your own way just to get your basic necessities met. But you're making, so like, when I hear these people say this, right, the basic necessities that you have are now being strained. Like, a normal person's basic necessities, like food, water, electricity, things such and so forth, those things are going to be mild, mild things that you're going to have to do, right? It's going to be difficult to a certain degree. For most people, it's probably not, especially if you live in a Western country, right? Once you start making these things more difficult for yourself, you become overweight or obese, um, and you're complaining that you can't find particular things anymore because you have sized yourself out of most things that normal people don't have to worry about, and then complain that you, you're being oppressed by that. That doesn't make sense. You're doing it to yourself, ultimately. You do understand that. And I'm not saying that we shouldn't have accessibility devices for you, but you have to at least understand that there's going to be some sort of responsibility that you have to now take upon yourself in order to accommodate that stuff for yourself, right? Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Other examples of fat shaming are going, or like online dating. Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. Online fucking dating? Online dating. Okay, go ahead. I went on today for fucking, I don't know what, I just felt like it. And out of the few people that messaged me, a handful of them told me that I need to go to the gym. Yeah, that's crazy. Did I ask for this? No. I don't care if you didn't, I don't care. Like, I don't know why Marissa has to come out of nowhere and go, I didn't ask for these things. I didn't ask them if I need to go to the, the gym. I didn't ask them. First of all, that doesn't matter. I don't think you understand how communication works, Marissa, because guess what? Did anybody ask you to make this video? Huh? Did anybody ask you to do that? Because guess what? They probably didn't. And because of that, you still made this video. So why the fuck do you think people should be living up to the standard of, I didn't ask you, therefore don't say anything. You were not asked to make this video and you still did it. Don't you understand? Oh man, I feel like Marissa is just, Marissa is just on some different shit. I'm sorry, dude. Ah. <sighs> All right. But. Uh Putting myself in that space, you get automatic fat shaming and you get automatic systemic fat phobia. Yeah, crazy. Now, those are just a small um, a bunch of examples <laughs> of what fat shaming is. So when people say that skinny shaming and fat shaming is the same, I say no. Cool. One, because I'm factually correct, but yeah. also because in those same instances, fat or skinny people do not have the same experience as fat people. Those that's fucking obvious, Marissa. Oh, I couldn't have said fat people don't have the same experiences as thin people. Wow. Oh, I can't even believe it. Wow. You said it was so profound. Those words. Oh man. They should be like mm, set in stone somewhere. Put them on top of like the fucking, those big rocks, those big rocks that are standing up. What are they? Stonehenge. 
Just have somebody chisel it into the fucking Stonehenge things. Please. We need that. We need these words. Fat people have different experiences compared to thin people. Who would have known? Who would have known? Fat or skinny people do not have the same experience as fat people. Those experiences that I just listed are inherent and are only directed or only happen to the majority of fat people. So you're telling me that people telling you that you're fat are primarily directed towards fat people? Oh. Wow, I never would have, I never would have connected those dots. Wow, this is actually blowing my mind. I can't even believe that. Huh? Damn. That's like somebody saying, you know, having rug burn on my meat, having big ass meat like I do, and having to like throw it around my neck and like you know use it for like a tripod system like these are issues that big meated men such as myself have to deal with and small meated men who have two three inches right maybe bbc juniors don't have to deal you with that huh it's kind of weird huh that people with big meats have to deal with big meat problems and people with small meats don't have to deal with the problems that the big meat people have so that's kind of interesting right meaning skinny people do not get denied their basic human rights for their body size that it must be a it must be a beautiful life to never have to take accountability and always blame all your problems on everybody else and never yourself oh it's got to be so great people do fat people get discriminated against for their body size yeah. then people don't and that's yeah. why skinny shaming and fat shaming are not the same thing period slay queen edges oh my god marissa just fucking cooked she just fucking cooked so good seasoned up food all over the place marissa's a fucking crazy person she real deal just sped she just spread it out dude you can't even lie she just said all that truth that's her truth by the way that's her truth and fat people's truth apparently man and people don't and that's why skinny shaming and fat shaming are not the same thing now if you want to continue to deny it then that just means you're ignorant and yep. won't educate yourself True. and you won't listen to fat people's voices which just reinforces that you're probably fat phobic true dude stop being fat phobic stop being fat phobic acknowledge fat people and fat people have problems fat people have issues you you're you're a skinny person so shut up you don't have voices also give them money because uh they deserve it anyway guys we're gonna end the video here I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. Whenever I see Marissa upload videos, I'm always like, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to watch it. I don't want it because I know it's going to be bad. It's just like, I've never, I've never seen a person so willing to say things that don't make sense and then also have those things to apply to them, but they don't see that they apply to them. You know what I'm talking about? I just don't know how this is possible. I really don't know how Marissa got to this level of pure ignorance and then spouting out some of the worst vile shit you could possibly say with your mouth. So much so that I feel like your mouth at that point should just become a secondary butthole. Because, like, the amount of shit that she talks is insane. More shit out of her mouth than her ass, I bet. But doesn't matter. Doesn't fucking matter, dude. You know what? You know what does matter, though? You. You matter so much. So much. And I care for you. And I really love you. And I really do love you. Thank you for being here today, by the way. If you enjoyed today's video, which I doubt that you did, since this video was agonizing for me to get through. So I don't know how you did. But if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things that I appreciate tremendously. Helps me grow on the algorithm. I want to thank everybody that's a member of my channel. Thank you for becoming a member. I want to thank everybody that's a subscriber. Thank you for becoming a subscriber. If you want to become a member, you can hit the subscribe button and the join notification. Sorry, the join button will come up and then you can hit join and then you can become a member of my channel. So I, I appreciate that support. If you don't want to though, that's fine. Don't feel compelled to. Um, if you watch this video in its entirety leave it down below by typing in almond because almonds are much appreciated in our society it's a nut milk people drink in the nut milk the pure nut milk so if you like nut milk let me know i don't i don't like nut milk i like meat milk from cows personally speaking so i love suckling succotashing on the meat milk it's my favorite thing no that's not a gay reference it's just me acknowledging the beauty of milk from cows anyway you're a beautiful specimen. If you were in the Avengers movie, you would be a deity because your presence, your amazing uh, energy, and your feng shui is through the roof. I appreciate you tremendously. I want to lick your eyebrows consistently. I love the progress that you've been doing recently, working on yourself, making yourself man more anabolic, making yourself more aerobic, working on the water consumption, working on the food choices, the dietary de decisions, making sure that you're more responsible, unlike some people... But I'm glad that you can make those decisions for yourself. 
and work on yourself and take an acknowledgement reflecting super important good job on that really great job anyway if uh, you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, and Discord, and second channel. If you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.